Hello everyone! Welcome to our daily program Subway Science! So today we have a very special guest. He invented the alternating current. Can you guess who he is? Nikola Tesla! Hello everyone! Hello Nikola! How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. The pleasure is ours. So, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience and tell us something about yourself? Sure. Well, I am a um, well-known physicist. I was born the turn the 10th of July in 1856 in Croatia. I am a Serbian-American inventor. I'm an electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, and the future is best known for my contribution to the design of the modern alternative current. Whoa, my god, there are a lot of things. To be this brilliant, you had to go to a very good college. Where did you have your education? Well, that's a funny question, because I'm a dropout. I, <laughs> yes, I never finished my engineering career, but I studied at the Graz University of Technology in Austria. My god, that has to be a very good college. So now, moving on, I want to talk a little bit about your inventions and all the things you created and how they are in use today. So the first one is the rotating magnetic field. So can you tell us something about it? Yes, it was my first invention, as you said, in 1882. And my teacher had told me it was impossible to create a motor powered by alternating current. And I proved he was wrong. And this rotating magnetic field um, al uh, allows an alternating current to power an engine without being first converted to direct current. That sounds very technical. <laughs> so um, the next invention that you created was also with alternating current, no? An alternative current motor. I mean, it was very useful. What can you tell us about that? Well, it was one year after my rotating magnetic field and I put it in, into practice as a motor and I use it is in an alternative current generator and um, transformers as well. My God. Okay. So uh, one of your inventions that uh, normally comes up in scientific films and all those kind of things is uh, the Tesla coil that you invented in 1890. Yes, the coil uses polyphase alternating currents and to create a transformer capable of producing very high voltages. And they are primarily used for entertainment today. And for people who are not that scientific, can you explain us what that means? Well, it is used to produce high voltage, low current and high frequency alternative current electricity. Okay then, like that, I really understand it. Well, the next two of your inventions, which I am sure everyone knows about it, is the radio. What can you tell us about it? Well, um... I first sent a wireless transmission from my lab at the Houston Street in New York City to a boat on the Houston River, like 25 miles away. And I've heard a lot of rumors and a lot of things and a lot of people say that Marconi uh, was initially credited and most people believe he was inventor of the radio. I mean, he even won a, a Nobel Prize. What can, What do you have to say about that? Oh my god, I'm so tired of listening to people saying that it was me, I was the one who invented the radio and I posed the idea 13 years before this man won that Nobel Prize. Okay then, we can move on to the next yes, invention. Yes, I don't want to talk about this anymore. So the last one that I think it may be one of the most important uh, are the x-rays because they are used in uh, the medicine. What can you say about them? Well, this is a weird story because I was at my lab and I saw a mysterious damage uh, to a photographic plate 
So I began my investigation of X-rays in 1894, at that time still unknown and unnamed. Well, nowadays everyone knows what X-rays are. Yes. Now we have prepared like a sort of quiz or game, however you want to say it, with, about, with 10 things we don't know about you. And we want you to tell us if it's true or if people make it them up. Mm. Okay, so the first one uh, is that uh, you envisioned the modern day smartphone in 1909. Yeah, that's true. Um, I wrote an article that was posted in the New York Times and um, I said it will be only necessary to carry an inexpensive instrument, no bigger than a watch, which will enable us to communicate in large distances. Well, that is incredible because nowadays we cannot live without a smartphone. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so um, people say, well, which I think it's the weird, the weirdest thing of this whole world. People say that you have a fear for pearls. Is that true? Yes, it is. I'm not even able to set to the side of the jam. And that's why I think um, people think that's one of the main reasons uh, I suffer from OCD, which is obsessive compulsive disorder. Being a scientist and an inventor has to take a lot of your time. And uh, here it says that you rarely sleep. How can you manage to create all these amazing things and basically no sleeping? Well, normally I only sleep two hours per night because uh, the rest of the day I am in my lab investigating to change the world. <laughs> well, thanks God we have people like you. <laughs> hmm. um, one ability that few people possess in the world and that I am sure is the best thing that can happen to you is the photographic memory. Do you really have photographic memory? Yes, I do. And as a result, I rarely make drawings of my inventions. I work from a picture or from a memory in my head. I wish I had that. It would make studying a lot more easier. <laughs> so you are, as, as, as a scientist and an inventor you are, I am sure you're traveling all the time. How do you manage to go to uh, different countries? Because I speak eight languages actually. I speak Serbo Croatian, English, Czech, German, French, Hungarian, Italian and Latin. I can barely speak English and you can speak eight languages, my <laughs> god. What else can you tell us? Well, I can tell you I invented the first hydroelectric power plant and well, most people think this is not true, but I have a death ray. Well, I sure don't want to mess with you. <laughs> you shouldn't. Okay, so uh, did you ever fell in love with someone or with something? Well, um, don't tell anybody, but I have a strange relationship with pigeons. And, <laughs> yes, yes, that's true, I, I do have. And, well, I love a pigeon as a man loves a woman, and she loved me. As long as I had her, there was a purpose to my life. Hey, don't laugh, it's true. Well, people can fall in love with woman or man and she falls and he falls in love with a pigeon yes and it was great and well also many of my inventions are classified and they will remain classified until the day i die well that sure is very curious maybe we don't need to know anything else about that if they're classified mm. so um do you have like any ritual or something that you always do before anything well, as weird as it may sound, I have an obsession with number three. I have to go around a rock or something else three times before going into a building or where, wherever. I thought that brushing my teeth three times a day was weird, but this is an obsession, clearly. <laughs> yes, it is. 
Um, okay, so uh, now we have prepared a tribute video for you uh, and we want you to see it. Well, thank you. You're welcome. It's the least we could do. I really, I really like it. Thank you. Well, thank you for your visit. And well, everyone, this was Nicola Tessa with us today. And see you next day. Goodbye. Goodbye. It was a pleasure.